Okay, still waiting to get that motor off the machine shop. Probably going to go with a 30 overbore, hopefully. So I'm not ordering pistons yet until I know what uh, the status on that block. It is an old engine. Like I said, I took it out of a, I believe it was a 71. And then it went into my 76 Blazer and it was in there for pff, years. Uh, the pistons don't have any marks or overbore. And I'm not even going to bother to measure it because, well, I know it needs to be bored. So I'm hoping for a 30. So... Uh, worst case, we'll go bigger, and I'll order pistons then. Uh, so, you know, it's a long process. Um, one thing I am going to do here is press off the pistons today. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, there's, it, I, I looked on the internet just out of curiosity to see if there's any fancy new tools, and there ain't. Uh, they're called press-on for a reason. Use a bloody press, and they come on and off real easy. As long as you set them up right, you won't damage the piston. These are the uh, low compression jobbies they used. Uh, they're dished, so they're lower the compression. I think these are like an 8 to 1, 8, eight and a half to 1 at peak. Um, so I'm going to go with a little bit more. Uh, I got two sets of heads to choose, and we'll get into that later uh, with different size uh, combustion chambers, which can also boost compression. But I want to keep it in the realm of pump gas. That is the thing. I don't want to have to be using premium or fuel additives like I did when I was <laughs> building dirt car engines. Okay, so the unit I'm using here is just a cheapie from uh, Princess Auto. Uh, similar, I guess, to uh, Harbor Freight down in the States there. Uh, Chinese-made stuff, but it's, you know, affordable for a hobbyist or whatever. I think that was only on sale, like 250 bucks or something. You could build your own, there's not that much to it, but I was in a hurry and I needed it, so I just went, put, went in and got it. I swear the hardest part is getting the camera set up. Okay, so all we're gonna do here is we're only gonna use the one plate with the round cutout. That's so that the piston pin can go through that hole. The flat spots are gonna support the flat sides on the piston. I don't care about this second area, it doesn't matter. I'm just supporting right here. Okay, so something like that. The tool is just a piece of steel that I had lathed out the end so it's smaller. Fits right in the pin. Okay, so you can see here the big thing is to make sure that the pin is not going to hit the plate. And you'll feel it. It'll tighten right up. Okay, so all you got to do is put your hand underneath and you can feel whether or not the pin is going to clear this plate. If it isn't, just readjust it. And they do that. That's just a pin letting go. Okay, nothing damaged. Piston's still in perfect condition. You could reuse that if you needed to. Connecting rod in perfect condition. No damage, no bends, nothing to it. Okay, so there we are. Eight pistons pressed off the connecting rods in a matter of five, six minutes. Nothing to them. 20 pumps per kind of thing, and off they come. Again, the tool, you can fab something up like that i seen people use sockets and stuff but i don't like to do that to my actual tools when it's a piece of steel that's kind of made for it uh the press not that expensive and you can certainly go cheaper i'm sure anyways like comment and subscribe plenty more to come especially on this build up bill to be at it all winter